All right, this is fifth grade, module four, lesson six, where we are relating fractions as division to fraction of a set. <laughs> okay, so what does, what does that mean? In the olden days, it would mean we're going to learn uh, how to multiply a fraction by a whole number. For example, one-third of 12. So um, what is that? So we're going to relate fractions as division. So that's this one-third part to a fraction of a set, as in one-third of 12, all right? So it's going to involve um, solving this problem down here using a little bit of division and the concept of fractions. So it's probably best to just give an example, and then you'll understand better. So when we say find two-thirds of 18, okay, now they say draw a set in the directions, but I prefer to think of it as draw an array. Okay, so I want you to draw an array of, so we're going to use a big old fat pen, and we're going to do an array of 18 dots. Now, why are we going to do 18 dots? Well, because it says so right here. Now, because the, the denominator is a 3, I'm going to make life a little bit easier, and I'm going to do 3 in each row. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12... 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. So there's our array of 18 dots. And then uh, because I did it, I counted by threes, you know, I put three in each row, that automatically tells us that each column is one third. So we can see that this is one third. This is one third, and this is one third. So if we want to know what two thirds is, well, here we go. Here's our two thirds. Um, and what is that? One, one, two, three, four, five, six in each column. So six plus six is twelve. All right. So, uh, so the answer here is twelve dots. So to be a little bit more, oh, let's say, official, uh, what would I do? Well, I would do, first off, I would say, well, what is one-third of 18? Okay, so one-third of 18 is 6. Now, how do we know that? I'm going to put because. Now, I would not expect t uh, students to write this, but I'm going to do that now. Uh, because 18 divided by 3 equals 6. And what does that mean? Well, we took the 18 dots over here and we divided by them by 3 to put them into 3 equal groups. So, because 18 divided by 3 is 6, that means each third is equal to 6. And so now, 2 thirds means we're going to have 2 groups. So it's going to be 2 times 6, which is uh, 12 dots. So this doesn't mean, right here, an equal sign. I'm saying to find two-thirds, it means, and that arrow doesn't mean an equal sign, but it means you're going to do 2 times 6 is 12. Our last problem for this video, it's kind of a short one. Uh, Sarah just turned 18 years old, and she spent four-ninths of her life living in Rochester, New York. For how many years did Sarah live in Rochester? Well, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to make an array. And we're going to use 18 dots, and we're going to make an array. Now, because the denominator over here is 9, I'm just to kind of, because I'm experienced and I know what I'm doing, uh, I'm going to make the, each row of that array have 9 dots. 1, 2, 3, 4. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. So now we can see that each column represents a ninth because we have nine columns total. So if we want to know four ninths, of her life, well, that's going to be four of those. One, two, three, four, right here. Four ninths. And we can just count. Four ninths is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight dots. So that's eight years. 
So four ninths is four ninths is eight years. There you go. Four ninths is eight years. Now to do it a little bit more mathematical, what would we do? Well, first we would take that eighteen. So I'm gonna put four ninths of eighteen. All right. Now what would we do? Well, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to do 18 divided by 9, and that's 2. And that tells us how many years are in each ninth. And then because we want 4 of those ninths, so now we're going to do 4 times the 2, and that gives us 8. And so the answer is 8 years. And that wraps up. Grade 5, Module 4, Lesson 6, where we are essentially finding a fraction of a whole number.